sit down na nako. Sit down siya dito sa may tap ng washing machine. Oh my goodness talaga guys. So by the way, shout out ko pala ang aking ate. Ate Real Memory in USA. Maraming salamat ate na talagang nasishare ko sa iyo. Talagang guys, we need some friend. Kailangan natin ng na mga friend na mapagsasabihan natin na yung atin ano, atin problem. Actually, yung mga nangyayari ngayon, hindi no, normal lang naman siya sa buhay. Kaya we don't take personally and seriously kasi talagang mangyayari at mangyayari. Ang importante ay prayer. Alam mo, yung prayer na yan guys, talagang napakaano siya. Kasi there are so many times talagang answer prayer sa akin na, na yung day na yon nagpe-pray ako. Tapos talagang tawag nito guys. Nakakaano talaga siya. Nakaka what do you call that? Nakaka nakakatulong, malaking tulong. Kasi ganito 'yan guys. Mayroon akong i-share sa inyo guys. Um this is about prayer as testimony guys. Um last month Nandun kami sa may mother-in-law ko. Yung bahay ng mother-in-law ko. Kasi ano yun eh, marble cement. So, yung itong baby ko na to, kay malikot kasi siya. Tapos, muntik na siyang mahulog dito. Kunti na lang talaga. Yung day na yun guys, isishare ko sa inyo. Nagpipray. Nakafocus yung prayer ko sa kanya. Hindi ko alam yun na ganun pala. Siyempre guys, we don't know the day and our day. Hindi natin alam yung atin buong buong araw. Kahit nga mat matutulog na lang tayo, di ba? May pwede pang mangyari sa atin pag iaalam ni Lord. But kung nagpe-pray lang tayo guys, talagang very important talaga guys yung prayer. Many times, kasi eh, ganito rin guys, testimony ko rin sa'yo. Itong baby ko na to, he is a velamentous baby. From the beginning pala guys, yung sa placenta, yung inunan, nakaano siya, instead na nandito siya sa ibabaw, pumunta dito siya sa ilalim. So, hindi siya normal. So, biro mo, nag-survive siya sa 9 months. So, yan, kaya, kaya yung pangalan niya is Joshua Nathan. Mayroon siyang story behind dyan guys. So, sabi ko nga nun sa, sa hospital, uh, sa doctor, ikakat na nila ako. Tapos sabi ko sa, sa ano, palabasin lahat na doktor, lahat na doktor, kahit sino ka pa, lumabas kayo, sabi ko sa kanya, lumabas kayo. Sampu sila guys, sabi ko sa asawa ko, lumabas kayong lahat, kasi isisiis na nila ako. Sabi ng husband ko, bakit? We need to pray, palabasin mo sila ang lahat. May isang nurse guys, na nag-iwan siya sa amin, hindi namin alam, she is also a Christian. So, Nag-agree siya sa amin. So, sabi nga, kasi sabi ng doktor na a minute na lang, sabi niya, a minute lang, may, may pwedeng mangyari. Yeah, may pwedeng mangyari sa akin, guys. Sabi ko sa kanila, the Lord is powerful. Even in Moses in Egypt, He opened the Red Sea para maka, para ma-save ang kanyang mga, ang mga Israelite. Sabi ko, Lord, I trust you with all my heart. I will not lean with my own understanding, but all the way I will acknowledge you. Yung verse na yan sa Proverbs chapter 3, verse 5, 6, and 7. Yun sa Proverbs na yun. Um, on that day na naglilibor ako, I think ang labor ko is 24 hours. Hindi nila alam yun. Ako lang ang nakakaalam. Tinaiming ko lang, sabi ko sa, sa sarili ko, Bago, uh, kailangan, pag pumunta na ako sa ospital, kailangan malapit ng lalabas si baby. Kasi wala akong mga medical exam, guys. That's the reason. I don't have any medical exam. I don't have, they don't have a record for me. So, I trust God. So, in short, guys, nagpray kami. Sabi ko, dada, sabi ko kay Lord, after namin magpray, um, we trust you. So, dinala ako doon nila sa sa delivery room doon sa operating room sabi ko sa kanila umagang tapat yun umagang umaga week hindi ako natutulog kasi alam ko i-injectionan nila ako guys ng pampatulog i-injectionan nila ako ng pampatulog hindi ako sabi ko don't touch my body okay I pray to God I trust to the Lord so yung anesthesiologist gusto na niya ako turukan ng pampatulog yung epidural ba yung para mag-calm down ako. Sabi ko, kaya ko pa to. 
kaya ko pa to because Jesus is with me. I have strength na, I am confident na kayang-kaya ko siyang ilabas ng normal. Tapos yung husband ko, hindi nila pinapasok. Sabi ko sa, sa ubi, kasi sampu sila doon, ini-experiment nila ako. Sabi ko, this is my real testimony. Sabi ko, um, kailangan ko na ng husband ko. Kasi yung moment na yon gusto ko nang i-ano si, si baby. I want, he, he will come out now. So, ayaw nilang kapuntahin doon. Sabi ko, I want my husband to see here, to come here now. So, by the, the moment na nandun yung husband ko sa, sa ano, sa, sa door, yon sabi ko, I'm ready now. So, ang dami guys, sobrang ang heartbeat ko, mataas, ang blood pressure ko, sobrang taas, ganun. Wala kasi sila, silang recall sa akin. So, sabi ko, ang pinanghahawakan ko lang talaga, yung prayer lang talaga, naiiyak ako guys. Kasi this is a real testimony. Um, after ko nag, after ko nanganak kay baby, inobserbaran siya doon sa ano sa pidya. Nilagyan ka siya ng oxygen kasi na o nag ano siya guys, nag over siya doon. Kung parang nagpupo na ba siya. But anyway guys, ang prayer talaga, ang main point ko dito guys is prayer po talaga. Kasi very important po talaga guys yung prayer. Many answered prayer already. Sometimes yung prayer ko answered immediately. Napifeel ko yan guys, napifeel ko yung spirit na yan. May time talaga, ang hirap, nahihirapan ako mag-pray. May, nag struggle ako sa pag-pray guys. Gusto ko yung inner in, yung inner in na prayer na yun. Na sabi ko, Lord, bakit nahihirapan ako? Na ganun. Tapos, yung mga verses na minimemorize ko, na nababasa ko sa Bible guys, iniipon ko yun. Halimbawa yung Proverbs chapter 8, halimbawa nito, This is uh, Philippians chapter 4.13. I can do all things through Christ. He gives me strength. What? So, mini-memorize ko yan. Mini-meditate mini ko yung mga Bible verses, What guys. Yung, mommy? Para hindi ako mahirapan mag-ano. Thank you, baby. Para ma-pray ko yun. So, by moment na I feel difficult, I struggle to pray something or somebody, I memorize the verse, guys. So, and by the time na yun, guys, I... Unti-unti ko nang, unti-unti ko siyang na, na ano ba, unti-unti ko siyang napifeel. Tapos pag napifeel ko yan, nakakapila ko ng heat. Sometimes din na-touch yung heart ko, gusto ko siyang umiyak. Yung prayer ba talaga guys? Ganon talaga. Ini-intercede, okay? Ganon, parang ano yan guys eh, parang hindi ko siya ma-explain sa inyo. Pero kung... Huh? Yeah? Oo. Yes. Oh, oh. So, say hi to them. Hi. This yes. is my baby yes. now. No, that's the ano. Mahilig siya sa mango, guys. Love uh -oh. mango. Oh, yeah, mahilig siya sa mango. At saka fruits. Inaano ko sila sa fruits and mango. So, anyway, ito na siya ngayon, guys. Ano na siya? Two years old na siya. Two years old na siya. And four months. Huwag yung baby. No, no, no. Okay? So guys, yun, nagpapasalamat ako sa mga prayer din. At sa kapag hindi ko napipil yung prayer na yun guys, nagtitext ako. Tinitext ko yung mayroon akong prayer partner namin na tinitext namin sa Life Without Links. Si... Wag yung baby si Pastor Nick Bujigjik. Siya Life Without Links. Yung wala siyang arm at wala siyang legs. Yun, nagsisanda ko ng prayer request doon. Tapos... Um, nagkukul ako, may mga hotline na mga prayer, so doon ako pumupunta pag wala akong strength na ano, sabi ko hindi ako nahiya, I'm not a, I'm not ashamed to them to ask prayer I said, um, can you pray can you please pray for my family, my husband, or whatever you know, hindi ako nahihiyang ipag-pray sila guys so anyway guys, wag kayong mahiya humingi ng tulong ito yung mango na to, oh, guys. Napaka-cute. Those are cute. Mm -mm. Those are babies still. The baby, eh. Ang cute ng mango baby. nila, guys. So, baby. Oh. So, save some for ate. So, anyway, guys, yun ang ating prayer. So, before I end my my video, I, I'll say a prayer, okay? The prayer, a quick prayer, a powerful, a minute prayer. Heavenly Father, I thank you for this moment, Father God, that I share to the people, to my friends, to my subscriber, to the follower of you, Lord, Father God. I pray, Father God, that you will touch their life in any shape or form in the name of Jesus. If they need healing for their body, if they need healing for their physical 
physical and emotional, Father God. If they need strength, Father God, I thank you, Lord Jesus, for giving them a supernatural strength, a supernatural power, Lord Father God. I thank you, Lord Jesus, that you're always there for us, Father God. Again, prayer for healing in the body, Lord, for all the people are suffering and now, nowadays, Lord, in the name of Jesus, Father God. Thank you, Lord Jesus, for this powerful powerful prayer father god that you have given to me lord father god touch their life in the name of jesus lord father god lord i pray also lord father god for supernatural healing and strength father god for those who are in the hospital and that the elderly the mother that they are delivering for their child in the in the labor room in the delivery room father god that you will give them a supernatural a uh, wonderful um birth for their children father god i don't know them lord but you know them lord i thank you lord for my family also lord father god that you choose us lord to to have this ministry lord i thank you lord for trusting this to us lord in the name of jesus i pray amen and amen so my dear brothers and sisters nagpapasalamat talaga ako sa inyo buong puso kong pinasasalamatan lahat ng mga subscriber namin dito so i'm happy and you are part of our journey here thank you thank you for everything and thank you for all the for all the organic uh, friend shout out pala kay sa ate ko sa real memory in usa na nasa illinois siya shout out din sa carol australia channel shout out din kay jennifer alicando sa mga friend ko dyan and uh, we are supporting each other and shout out also to mommy and kimberly na <clears throat> they are here in us also and uh, shout out also to to the camp one that the people that we are helping together helping hands thank you for ate lovely dimple and ate irene thank you also for miss christy yeah okay sorry guys the background thank you for christy also that she's from cebu so nagpapasalamat ako dito and thank you also for mc Ellis and thank you for tonya fusion and thank you for who, who else there are so many here in my friend that they are they are very very supportive so thank you so much and uh, in behalf of that i thank you for my husband thank you honey and i know everything will be fine and everything will be okay i'm so excited I, it's already 12 midnight here guys the lord give me a supernatural energy and power nanggagaling ito lahat kay lord so nagpapasalamat ako tong araw na ito is very um very mysterious day so thank you so much bye for now